by race or by age or something like that. So it's really meant to really tickle your fancy and have you ask questions. That's, that's the real purpose of it. So just a few things about the good news, and I'll, I'll give you some really good news, I'll give you some not so good news. Um, first of all, the teen birth rate in Mendocino County continues to drop, and that's true across the state and across the nation, and there are a lot of, I won't go into all the theories about why, but it is a very interesting statistic and it does continue to happen. And just as an example, I pulled up some statistics for the coast, because we are here at the coast and I thought maybe coast people would be interested. Um, the county actually has 10% in 2007, 10% of our births were to teens, 15 to 17. And on the coast, that was 8%. So I don't know what you take from those because the numbers go up and down over the years. But the coast pretty much follows the county, as it turns out, in most of these statistics. Um, one of the not so good bits of news about births is that our um, percent of low birth weight babies has increased a little bit since 2004. And if you look on page 29 in your report, you'll see some of those um, um, maternal child and adolescent health statistics. We are following that very closely. Linda Nagel of Maternal Child and Adolescent Health is watching that. We're looking for reasons for that. The problem with Mendocino County statistics, as you know, I've said this many times here, the numbers are small and when we even have an increase in two or three, it'll send our rate or our percent way up. So we, we do kind of monitor that because our numbers will go up and down like this. The states will be much more smooth due to the large numbers. So those are things just to keep keep in um, you know keep them in mind. Um, let's see what's another. Oh, another statistic that we've been watching for a number of years. Um, it's very important to maternal, child, and adolescent health. Or the number, or the um, percent of women um, receiving uh, prenatal care in the first trimester. I mean, Kendall knows about this as she worked at public health. Um, our um, percents have always been much lower than the state and there are many reasons for that. I think transportation to and from um, providers is one. There are many others that I could go into but this has been rising so the good news is is that our percent of women getting into early prenatal care has definitely been rising very slowly but it is rising over the years and we're not down at the bottom of all the counties anymore we're kind of up, up around the middle so that's a good thing. And on the coast, um, the coast very much follows the county. The county has 68%, the coast has 67% for 2007. Um, let's see, I want to talk just a t little bit about the death rate from chronic heart disease. This is something that is followed all over the, the nation and, and the state and the county. Um, the death rate from um, chronic heart disease is somewhat lower in Mendocino County than the state rate. However, the death rate from cancer is somewhat higher in Mendocino County than the state. And those, those statistics kind of go up and down from year to year, but we do pay a lot of attention to of those at the health department. Here's some good news. Only seven active TB cases in our county and four confirmed meningitis cases in our county in 2006-2007. And you've all heard of West Nile virus and there's been a lot of talk about that and a, a lot of complaints for vector complaints have come to the environmental health department. They've all been investigated. We've actually had two positive West Nile virus cases in the county last year, but we suspected both of those, those cases actually came into our county from somewhere else. Those were investigated and found that, you know, they didn't occur, they didn't contract that disease in our county. So that's, that's some good news. Um, and there's only been, last year, only one positive rabies case. Now the rabies cases are usually one, two, or zero. And we had one last year, I think it was a fox that someone brought in. So that's good news too. The pesticide use in the county has been constantly dropping over the years. There's a chart. If you want to look at some of these statistics on page 39, there's some environmental statistics. And you'll see that the pesticide use has slowly <coughs> been dropping. Um, it dropped 10% since 2005. So that, I think that's good news for people with environmental concerns. Now some not so good news is um, 
the fact that hospital, hospital let's see, the death rate from unintentional injuries in Mendocino County is still twice what it is in this, at the state as a whole. And we've been paying attention to that statistic over the years, and it has not really changed very much. Um, the reasons might be our long highways, our curvy roads. You know, I think it has a lot to do with traffic, people dr driving drunk and under the influence of various things. I mean, there, there are many reasons, and I think everyone who lives out in the rural areas can, you know, attest to that. Everyone knows somebody who's been involved in an accident like that. Um, some good news is that the juvenile felony and misdemeanor arrests are declining in Mendocino County. That, I think that is really good news. Um, however, they're still higher than the state, so, so we pay a lot of t attention to that. And primarily they're property um, offenses. Um, and here's one that I really like because I've been on the child death review team for a long time and have been monitoring that data. This is a group of people, it's a multi-agency group that monitors all child deaths between 0 and 17 years old. And we've always had between, I'd say, 15 and 18 children to die in our county every year. And every one of those cases is monitored by this group. Well, this is a really good news, and I've never seen this happen. In 2007, we only had five child deaths. I don't know why, but it's very good, very good news. Um, just a few more things to mention. Um, chlamydia cases, chlamydia is still the uh, most common STD in Mendocino County, but one of the things of concern is that in 2007, 37% of chlamydia cases were to teens. So we, we at the um, health department with our family planning program monitor, we go out and do education in the high schools and hope to make teens avail, um, aware of these dangers. Um, as they as they experiment with all this stuff, and also Hep C continues to be the fastest growing infectious disease in the county. We had 166 new cases in 2007. I think I might stop there. <laughs> Thank Are there you, any Doris. questions? Any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you, Stacy. I just wanted to point out that along with our proclamation, you also signed three pro proclamations for three contributors to public health in the county. It was Britt Bailey from Environmental Commons, um, the Willits uh, Well Project, Willits Local Localization Project, um, and the Ukiah Valley Trail Group. And so we will be handing those out to those individuals on Thursday at the Public Health Department. And in your red packets, there was a list of activities going on at the department. And I'm extending an invitation to all of you to, to, uh, to participate in that. So thank you. Thank you. Any questions? OK. Thank you very much. Um, there is a member of the public that would like to speak to this issue, uh, Liam O'Connor. O'Carroll. O'Carroll, I'm sorry. As a member of Willits Economic Localization, and on behalf of them, I would like to thank the Board of Supervisors and the Health and Human Services Agency for recognizing us in this process. The last Board of Supervisors meeting I was able to attend was in Point Arena in the fall of 2006. And I was delighted, as were all of Wales members, when the board uh, voted to join ICLEI, which is the local government campaign for climate protection. And to follow up on that, we look forward to a report soon detailing the county's efforts to meet their ICLEI obligations in following with the uh, climate protection theme that is involved here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Liam. Any other members of the public wishing to speak to this proclamation? Okay. Thank you very much. Supervisor Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd really like to thank the Health and Human Services Agency for a very comprehensive and excellent report. I worked on the first one of these, which was, I believe, um, 1996, and they do them every two years, and I'm sure that 